it's actually warm. it's yeah. warm it's warm yeah. there is no way you'd be able to tell that this is a mabati house what did you do to the walls and the, walls, the ceiling? Yeah, the, the walls, um, the, on, on the outside, they are my party. Today we get to speak to Jeff Kamuyu of the Kamuyu Drive and the Kamuyu Rustic House. And this is the nice house that we'll be talking about. It's a Mabati house, but it's not your usual Mabati house. It's been done differently. And in a moment, we'll explain why. Can you tell us the story of how you decided to build this house? Yeah. It's a magnificent house. <laughs> well, um, this house you see here, you know, um, I had the design mm -hmm. and the costume, mm -hmm. uh, but along the way, uh, and I and was, okay, sorry, I was building it for staff, yeah, for staff, for the main house youth. Uh -huh. But along the way, um, I decided. Make it, uh, you know. I want other people to come and, and enjoy you know, it. And enjoy it. Is that why you decided to go with the Mabati? Okay, the the Mabati initially is because of the cost first, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh -huh. And also the Mabati are different. You know, the Mabati I have used is, um, you know, they're called box uh, uh, shape, you know, box. Yes, profile. A box profile Mabati. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, that is due to cost. Mm -hmm. And then I uh, use mainly I use the the steel structure uh -huh. also because of strength and uh, and also cost yeah and yeah. Uh, durability uh -huh. and um, also you know when you use my body uh, you have also to be careful by choosing color you know the right color to bread with the environment uh -huh. and that one I did get it you know like the it's it's green it, it's a um, you know the the walls are kind of gray kind black, of gray black yes, but the roof is uh, gray you know just to disappear of the, to make it disappear in the... know, just to bread with the environment uh, so you are explaining to me about the choice of the color of the roof and the walls yeah the, uh -huh. so the you see like you see the the walls are kind of gray black Mm -hmm. But it's also comfortable. You don't, it doesn't get to your eyes immediately, you know. Mm -hmm. And then the roof is green so that it blends with the environment. With the environment. So that you can see the, you know, the, the green. You know, so the green color. comes from the trees yes. to the roof, and it mm -hmm. almost disappears yeah. into the environment. Yeah. Also, uh, you know, my preference, and also most people, mm -hmm. they, they, they don't want something shouting, you know. Like, yes. Yes. Yeah. So this so, is. That was the design, you know, to incorporate, you know, like Kara uh -huh. in the design, in the design and get value out of it. And get value out of it. Yes. So it started out as tough housing, yes. but it's along the way it yeah. became an accommodation area. Yeah, this happened because along the way, you know, like other than build just a simple Mabati house, mm -hmm. I decided uh, that you know where it had reached, it mm -hmm. was. Uh, it was okay for occupation by the staff, uh -huh. but, but um, <laughs> well, I was like, I'm very mean with that, you know. I'm like, no, this needs to be something else. Yes. So <laughs> I escalated the design. Uh huh. I incorporated the windows, mm -hmm. you know, the French design, the door French design. Uh huh. And um, well, 
the cost slightly came above what I, I had budgeted, uh -huh. but I was comfortable. It wasn't so out of the way. It wasn't so out of the way. Yes. I'm sure we'll finish this video by you telling us how much it cost at the end. Well, but yeah. I can, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can. The, uh -huh. the house on the inside is well insulated. Uh -huh. And it's, um, well, the cost, uh, as much as I was trying to bring down the cost, it came to around. 300 plus so around 300 plus 300,000 Kenyan shillings 350 yeah. there yeah. so for 350,000 shillings this is amazing Wonderful. this is ama amazing amazing I I cannot tell you how sad really it looks it's actually very very good you. might you know the area of the house yeah, it is uh -huh. uh, actually 20 by 20 feet. It's 20 by 20 feet. Yes. At 6 meters by 6 meters. Yes. So it's very compact. You can almost call it a tiny house. Yes. Inside. But it's not tiny. I've been inside and it's not tiny. Yeah, it's just <laughs> yes. an advantage of space. Of the space. Yeah. And then tell me about the doors and the windows. It mentioned they're French. Yeah, yes. okay. the, uh, the design of the lounge. Yeah, you see the door and, and the kitchen. It's incorporated the lounge and the and kitchen. The kitchen, yes. And you can see all of the, the windows are all around mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just to make sure we bring more air uh -huh. and also more writing uh -huh. and the door is French uh -huh. you know? I, I like this style of uh, door yeah. and these materials you can get them cheap uh -huh. from um, brought down you know those colonial houses uh -huh. and then you buy them you know from they... the people <laughs> sell you know there you go reuse yeah. repurpose so, so uh, yeah yes. repurpose so again you bring down you the cost, so yeah. you need to be creative. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> and also get value out of it. And get value out of it. Yes. So I think now I'll take you, you'll take me inside the house, because okay. it's very beautiful and I can't wait for the viewers to see. Let's so let's follow Jeff. I was going to ask why the house is lifted off the, the, the house ground. Is lifted off the ground because I still want to see my rat. You want to see your yeah, land. Want, land is um, very valuable. You yeah, don't want to I lose still it. Have the, land, you uh -huh. know, the house is up there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so here, this is where we get in the welcome mat. Um, he's done. This is tiling. Tiling, tiling is. This is ceramic. Or, ceramic tiles just it's very really common in kenya but his choice of tile is impeccable and it just flows all the way and makes the room the place actually look big yes so the, yeah the choice of tiles is they, they look like wood you know uh -huh. and wood bring you know some comfort uh -huh. and, and warm and warm so you won't know if it's around <laughs> Until you actually you look at the table and yeah. you see it look like the floor, and you're like, You're actually right because the table, the floor, the choice of furniture, it yes. just all transforms and becomes like a nice warm yes. cottage, actually, yeah. which is what you are going for. Yes. And now we, we discussed the windows, you'd seen them on the outside, but from the inside is where you get to appreciate how much yeah. light. Yeah that Jeff decided to grant this house. <laughs> did the, you design it yourself? I did design it, but when mm -hmm. it came around to fitting, you know, um, uh. someone come and see like uh, the original idea of the, the color. Mm -hmm. And then uh, there's a lady in the US uh -huh. uh, called uh, Bunnies. Uh -huh. She's the one who came up with the cutting. You see the cutting also breading with the front? Yes, actually, yeah. 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 The cutting. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And this came from, you know, from her, she was like, oh, this look golden, you know, like, uh, hey, so like we, need let's... To, we need to maintain that color. It does, and it's, it's actually, warm. it's yeah. warm, it's warm. Yeah. There is no way you'd be able to tell that this is a Mabati house. No. What did you do to the walls the and walls, the ceiling? Yeah, the, the walls, um, the, on, on the outside, the Mabati, uh -huh. this is gypsum. That's gypsum. And inside, mm -hmm. you know, in between the Mabati and the gypsum, mm -hmm. there is insulation material. Mm 
mm -hmm. which we call insulation material, mm -hmm. that is to insulate the house from the external weather, mm -hmm. whether it's hot or, or cold. cold yeah. You know, the house maintains its, uh, temperature. its temperature. Yeah. I, I can confirm that I actually did spend the night. I told him I needed to experience the house. And I did spend the night and it was warm. Actually, it was considering at the moment it's very really cold. It's the cold season. So this is nice. And then the ceiling. Yeah, you can see from outside, it's mm -hmm. a high roof. Yes, it's a high but roof. inside, the ceiling is flat, just to make the space not too much. Uh -huh. Just to be able to accommodate, uh, you know, to, to keep up with the insulation. Uh -huh. The more space you have, the more, uh, the more effort you need to maintain, to maintain the, the, the temperatures temperature. inside. Yeah. So it's just gypsum again. Uh -huh. Gypsum. Yeah, they are very easy to work with. Mm -hmm. Gypsum, you know, you, you, you paint it and it looks like concrete. Yes, uh, paint, yeah. finish, and that's it. Yeah. Uh, and then you have put down lights on the gypsum. Yeah, the down lights, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, mainly I work with the builders, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm also a builder, mm -hmm. actually, uh, uh, licensed by LCA. Oh. But my core business is electrical engineering. Uh huh. So electrical installation you from did. ground to finish. You did yourself. Yes. So you actually practice what you preach. I you did. you yes. designed this and you built yes. this by you. It's yes. very very good work. Um, this is a question I'll get asked a lot, I'm sure. Yeah. How did you mount that TV on? Uh, well, the TV, uh, one, uh, there was a, I sent someone to come and mount it, mm -hmm. but they, they found challenges because, uh -huh. you know, the hollow, the, the hollow, yes, yes, you know? yeah. But uh, there are, there are metal uh, frames uh -huh. in that between. The structure of yeah. the support itself. So when I came, uh -huh. I, I had to show them exactly where there is a metal coming uh -huh. down. And the mounting was easy. So basically, if you want to mount something, make sure you provide for it yeah, when you true. when building. Yeah, yeah, so you true. need to think about these things. You can <laughs> exactly. just go. <laughs> yeah. And then there's the very beautiful kitchen. Very nice, very white. Did you choose this yourself? I did, yeah. You did. Uh, but the, the, the color of the handles and stuff again, uh -huh, it uh -huh. is it's, uh, from the courtesy to Barney's. You see, they're golden. You know? uh -huh. yes. So we try to maintain that color, you know, that warm, that warm color. color yeah. It's very bright, it makes it look very big. Mm -hmm. And I also like that the appliances are fitted. Almost. Yeah, they're all yes. So yeah. you you designed the space for the appliance exactly. to make sure it works. Mm -hmm. And then, as always, I like this feature when you're doing the dishes, you get to look out at your nice trees. Yeah, you so look I enjoyed that. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and it's a lot of space, a lot of countertop space and storage. True. So you did very well there. Thank you. Of the countertop. The countertop is also tile. It handles very well with the cleaning and the washing, the cutting up of vegetables. So, a very good choice for this piece. Now, um, this is actually one of my favorite things. I like how you provided storage for. Is, is it linen? What's inside? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 This, this, um, actually, this is again taking uh -huh. uh, advantage of space. Uh -huh. So I, I realize there is space here, and uh -huh. we can use it with the extra, you know, tile storage uh -huh. and uh, sheets. Because uh -huh. sometimes, you know, guests, you know, they, they overstay, so they need to change stuff. As an African, you must be ready. Yeah. <laughs> to, accom <laughs> <laughs> to accommodate people. Yeah, true. Yes, um, then this is an interesting detail because you'll see from the living room, you almost climb to the throne. <laughs> this is the washroom. Um, you'll note that there's still a continuous flow of tiles. You change it a bit. It's a different tile, yes? Yes. But it still gives the same feeling. Yeah, the feeling so, yes, can you explain to us a little bit more about how you did your bathroom space which has so much light yeah this uh, you see now we are in the attic ah. it's the, the, in the ceiling because this is the high roof when yes, you, you see in the high roof. yeah so this is also taking advantage of space the uh -huh. attic can also be used 
just using a few steps, mm -hmm. you can use the attic uh -huh. as the bathroom, and then uh -huh. it's, because it's shared, uh -huh. uh, it's easy, you know, to access from any part, from the road, from any of the bedrooms, mm -hmm. and it it stays proud, you know. You can't <laughs> ask people where the wash. You don't need someone asking where do I find the bathroom. It's, 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 there, it's, it's looking right at you. There. It's, it's calling you. <laughs> it's calling you. Yes. You cannot get lost. Yeah. I, I'm thinking also just raising the floor here gives you some storage space at the bottom on the lower floor. Yes. It does. There's a storage stuff at the, at the ground accesses from the outside. Ah, that is really nice. And then once you come down from the bathroom, this is the living room. And here we have bedroom one and bedroom two is on the other side. So we look at bedroom one first. It's very well lit with the windows positioned. I'm guessing it was intentional positioning. Yeah, it was, uh, uh -huh. it was also one ventilation uh -huh. and also lighting. And also lighting. Yeah. And for sure it is very, very well lit and quite cozy considering the total area six by six meters so the total area is 36 square meters and that's a five by six bed that fits very well and he was also able to provide a, a, wardrobe. a wardrobe very nicely tucked in at the corner there yes, yes. and it's all very good and the continuation of tiles still keeps the space looking very big. Then the next bedroom is here. Is this the bigger bedroom? Yeah, it's right. You can see it's right. Uh -huh. Yeah. And it's more, you know, like you can see the design here. It's like the master bedroom. <laughs> Look at the garden. Ah, so a better view. Yes. Yeah. So this is where you get to absolutely enjoy the garden exactly. offering. <laughs> For people who are wondering what the nets are in Kenya, <laughs> it's very common to have shears yeah. and curtains. Yeah. So this is just common practice here. <laughs> and our windows have grills. Yes. <laughs> For protection or is it just security? Uh, security? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but we enjoy them. So here this room you get to enjoy you enjoy the garden. And it's still quite spacious. It's very spacious. And it's still been able to give provide a wardrobe. Yeah, yeah? nicely tucked in. And I think is this even space for a study oh, desk? Yeah. Or a makeup table, depending on how you <laughs> how you prefer to use your space. Thank you very much. This house has been quite something, and for sure, when you're inside, there is no way you'd say this is a Mabati house. This does not feel like a Mabati house. Does not look like a Mabati house, but has the budget of a Mabati house. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much for this tour. I think now we will head out. Wow. Very bright. To back to the living room. Um, if you'd like to book this property, it's listed on Airbnb as the rustic house. Yes? Yes. And we will leave the contacts for Jeff in the in the descriptions below so you can also talk to him directly if you'd like to visit it how long ago did you build this house this is like six years back it's been standing here for six years yeah and it's elastic already you know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's it's where that's where it elastic. gets the name it's yeah. rustic yeah, yeah, it but it, 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 it's it's held up it, very well yeah, it looks it, very nice yeah, and you wouldn't think yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you know and then these the, the doors we use they are like uh, 50 60 years old, you know. The door is the 50 door. 60 years old, yeah. Like, remember, and the windows, you said the papa, say the papa, and you see it's French, mm -hmm. the way you know it's French, you see the hinges, yeah, yeah. It's open and get out of the way and give oh. you a space also for, for the airflow yeah. and mm. the rest. Mm. That's really nice, yeah. You've done very well, yeah. <laughs> 
yes there's something we almost forgot <laughs> to add to the video the house is entirely of grid please explain <laughs> okay this this means that um, uh -huh. we we don't use power we use power as a backup only but uh -huh. we have never had a situation whereby our power uh -huh. from sora uh -huh. had run out you know uh -huh. Uh -huh. so uh, that house is fully uh, self-contained as far as power is concerned mm -hmm. except water heating we only pay for water heating what heating? everything else the oven the microwave oh including the, the lighting, oven including the oven the water uh, and and all that yeah ah. so we never have to experience a power cut you never once have to experience you are inside a power there, yeah. mm. that's really that's awesome